I've got here the Spyderco Superhawk. I guess you could say it's related to the Super Leaf, which came out recently, 2010, 2011, I don't remember. But um, discontinued now. Big hunk of a knife, man. Look at that blade stock. I think that's, what is that, three and a half? Four millimeters? Here's a comparison here. Here's a Spyderco Delica 4, full flat ground. Huh. <laughs> Look at that blade stock, it's massive. Anyhow, interesting hawkbill blade here. A little, ah, uh, what's the word? Hmm. Well, you've got carbon fiber scales, kind of a high end, I guess. You can see the pattern there as I turn it in, in the light. But the um, it's grippy like G10. The the um, gosh, the words not coming to my mind here. The texture is like G10. Yeah, as you can see. So kind of cool the way they did this. I really like it. I mean, it's really grippy. It's excellent got the compression lock back here fluted a uh, lanyard hole nice big lanyard hole and you can see there as I turn it and the uh, drilled out liners very nice save a little bit of weight low profile pocket clip just a cool knife not a review I haven't carried this knife you know it's just been sitting in the collection for a little bit and uh, yeah just wanted to show it off a little bit because it's a beauty man really well made you can see there on the scales they've been kind of um, got like a bevel going on all around just to improve the, the comfort of course the ergonomics are outstanding got a pretty big handle real thick knife overall but of course I mean what, what would you expect with a blade stock like that very smooth deployment super smooth fast if you give it a little bit of a wrist flick man that's a that's a pretty wicked knife huh Kind of a shallow hawkbill. Looks more like a talon or a claw to me. Yeah, you see there, VD10 steel, manufactured in Seki City, Japan. Nice polished torque screws. A lot of nice little details with this knife that one can appreciate, I'm sure. Anyhow, I'm going to keep this one short. Just wanted to show some of the fine details of this now discontinued Spyderco knife. So, alright. Hope you enjoyed it.